Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening. This is the eighth video of this Java series. In this video, I'll show you while loops and how to increment variables very simply. So first, let's put a integer variable called count. Int count equals, and we'll set it equal to zero. Okay, and then for the while loop, we'll do while count is less than or equal to 20. Okay, and then we'll put some more curly brackets. Now inside of the while loop, we'll do a system.out.println and we'll just tell it to print out. Let's do print instead. Okay, and we'll give it a space and then we'll tell it to print out count. Okay, so what this is going to do is print count on the same line multiple times. But a while loop will continue to run this code while this is true. So in order to break the while loop, you need to um, increment count in order so that it goes over that 20 or equals 20 eventually. So what we're going to do is we'll increment it. And we'll do this by adding plus plus to the end of count. So if we run this, we should get 0 through 20. Okay? Now, if we put the plus plus in the beginning of the variable and then run that, you'll get 1 through 21. And that's doing that because it is adding the 1 before it's accessing the variable. So if you have the plus plus in the front, you're going to get the plus one first. If you have it in the back, you'll get the variable first and then it's going to add the one to it. Okay? Now another thing you can do, you can say count plus equals and then you can put in another number for let's say five. And then if we run that, we get zero, five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. This is just another way you can increment. You can also do this with the one and what this is doing is it's count plus five equals count pretty much okay now you could also do decrements as well as increments you can say we want to do minus minus and we'll set count equal to 20 and we'll say as long as count is greater than or equal to zero we want it to print so we'll print that again then we get 19, 18, all the way down to negative 1 because we're doing the decrements first. If we change it over to the other side and run that again, we should get 20 through 0. Okay? And that's pretty much with it with uh, while loops and with increments and decrements. If uh, you have any questions, you can leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.